Hi everyone, my name is Deepthi. Welcome to Learn English with Deepthi. In today's lesson, we are going to take a look at a very common mistake people make when forming questions in English. If you ask me, I will tell you that this is the most common mistake. I always hear this even from people who speak pretty good English. So let's take a look at some questions and you tell me which of these are correct and which of these are wrong. Where you are going? What she is doing? Why he didn't come with you? How you got here? What they gave you? Which college you went to? Who your son is talking to? Okay, so take a look at these questions and which of these do you think is correct? Well, actually all of these questions are grammatically wrong. So in today's lesson, we are going to see why these questions are wrong and how to do them in a grammatically correct way. So first, let's take a look at the questions. Look at the beginning of these questions. What is the similarity that you see? When you look at these questions, you see that they all begin with a question word. What, why, where, who, which. These are all question words in English. We call them WH words. How is also included even though it doesn't start with WH. How is also considered a WH word. So all of these questions are starting with a WH word. So we see this mistake that we are talking about in WH questions. Let's see what the correct format of a WH question should be. So in a WH question, the first word is always a WH word. It's followed by an auxiliary verb, then the subject, then the main verb, and then the rest of the sentence follows. So let's take a quick look at what auxiliary verbs are. There are three main auxiliary verbs in English, do, have, and be. These verbs are usually used as helping verbs. They help the main verb. That's the purpose of auxiliary verbs. Other than the main verbs, there are also some model auxiliary verbs, which are can, will, may, shall, must. They are all model auxiliary verbs. So any of these can work as an auxiliary verb for a WH question. There are also some WH questions that do not need an auxiliary verb. I will talk about them at the end of this lesson. But generally, majority of the WH questions will need an auxiliary verb. Now let's go back and look at some of the questions I showed you in the beginning. The first question was, where you are going? What is wrong with this? Let's look at the order. Where, that's a WH word, you. You is the subject. You is not the auxiliary verb. The auxiliary verb here is are, which is a form of the verb be. So this order is wrong. It should be auxiliary verb and then the subject. But here it's the other way around. So how can we correctly say this? Where are you going? That is the correct way to ask this question. The next question is, what she is doing? Again, it's the same problem. She is the subject and is is an auxiliary verb. Is is again a form of the verb be. So we have to switch it. Is should come first and the subject she should go after it. What is she doing? That is the correct way to ask this question. The next one is, why he didn't come with you? Here the subject is he and the auxiliary verb is didn't. Didn't is a form of do. So we have to switch it. Why didn't he come with you? Now this is a correct grammatical question. The next one is, how you got here? This one is a little tricky because take a look at it. What is auxiliary verb? There is no auxiliary verb. What do we do now? How do we correct this? 
So we have you which is a subject, got which is a main verb. That is not an auxiliary verb. How you got here? There is no auxiliary verb. So in such a situation, when there is no auxiliary verb, we have to put an auxiliary verb between the WH word and the subject. In cases like this, we put do. But we have to remember that when we put do, it has to match the correct tense and it has to match the uh, singular or plural form of the subject. So let's see how to put do in this question. This question was how you got here. So we are going to put a do in between the uh, WH word which is how and the subject which is you. So how do you got here? So there is again an error in this sentence because we have got. Got is a past tense. When we put an auxiliary verb do in this kind of a sentence, we have to change the tense of the main verb. The auxiliary verb will denote the tense. Whether it's past tense or present tense, it will be shown by the auxiliary verb now and not the main verb. So we have to change the main verb to the present tense and the auxiliary verb to the past tense. So the correct sentence will become, how did you get here? I hope uh, you understood that. The next question is, what they gave you? This question is also just like the one that we just looked at. There is no auxiliary verb. What they gave, gave is the main verb. They is the subject. There is no auxiliary verb. So we're going to put do in between the WH word and the subject. So what do they gave you? The main verb here is in the past form. It is gave. So we have to change that to the present form and change the auxiliary verb to the past form. So what did they give you? The correct sentence is, what did they give you? The next question is, which college you went to? So here again, we have to put an auxiliary verb because there is no auxiliary verb. So which college do you went to? Now we have to change the went to a go because went is the past tense of the main verb. We have to change it to the present form. Which college did you go to? That is how we correctly say this. The next one is who your son is talking to? So here we do have an auxiliary verb. Is is auxiliary verb which is a form of be. So it needs to come in front of the subject. The subject is your son. So it will come, who is your son talking to? So earlier when I talked about the correct format of the WH questions, I said that there are some cases where we do not use an auxiliary verb. So now I'll tell you what that is. Take a look at this question. Who does Ryan like? So the answer to this question would be Ryan likes somebody, right? So Ryan is the subject, likes is the main verb and somebody is the object. So this question, who does Ryan like? The who represents the object. But uh, now look at this question. Who likes Ryan? So here, what would the answer be? Somebody likes Ryan. In the answer, somebody likes Ryan. Somebody is the subject. Ryan is the object, right? So who, the question word is representing the subject. When the question word represents the subject, we do not have to put an auxiliary verb. Uh, another example is who likes pizza? There is no auxiliary verb there, right? 
likes is a main verb. So, there is a wh question and there is a main verb or the auxiliary verb is missing and the subject is missing because here the who is acting as the subject. So, in such cases there is no need to add an auxiliary verb. So, I hope this lesson has helped you understand this very very common mistake made by a lot of people regarding question formation. Please like and share the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.